What's up guys and dolls? Thank you so much for stopping by Allure by Yujisha. I am so happy that you guys are here. If you guys have not already done so, please click that subscribe button so that you can see all of my updated videos and what I've got going on in the world. Today, I'm gonna go ahead and work with some colors. This is my first video of the year. Let's go ahead and get started. As you can see, I am rocking some colors. This purple lip is giving me life. Let's go ahead and begin. We're gonna prepare our face, it is clean. I am gonna moisturize my face with um, the Body Shop Fountain of Youth. This is a moisturizer. This is my go-to. When I'm Before I put my makeup on, I use this product. And when I clean my face or after I do a facial on my face, this is the product that I use. I love, love this product. Moisturizers help, you know, keep your face healthy and clean. The next step I'm gonna be doing is I'm going to prime my face. I'll be using NYX Cosmetics Can't Stop, Won't Stop. Love, love, love this primer. This primer actually helps with my T-zones because I'm very oily in those areas, but it helps. I also use it to lay and slick my brows down because it actually helps when I am drawing my brows on. Also, if you're one of those girls who have not waxed or um, get your eyebrows plugged or threaded, however you do, this also helps with um, applying your brows on. So, I'm gonna go ahead and use my the end of the pencil, and I'll be using the little spoolie part. I'm not even really sure if that's what it's actually called, but I'm just gonna use this, and I'm just gonna take the brows in the direction that I actually want them to go and get them into place. Like I said, I haven't arched my eyebrows in a while, so this will help. I then use my dark brown pencil, and I basically shape them. I go from the ends to the bridge of my nose, and I then outline my brows. I go ahead and get the arch and the shape that I want. The top part, I like to just go just a little bit above my natural brow because I don't want it too thick. You know, too thick of eyebrows, it, it's just too much, you know. So I go ahead just a little bit above, go ahead and get that wonderful arch. I like it like that. And I make sure it's even. I then go in with my Ramel by London. It is a mascara. It is waterproof. I love it. It allows my last my um, brows to last a little bit longer because I do a little bit sweating in the face sometimes if I'm working long hours, and this actually helps. So I really love how this actually works. I'll then go ahead and clean up with my NYX Cosmetic. This is basically an eyeshadow base, but I do use it to clean up. I will start from the bridge of my nose and I'll work my way all the way out to the end of my brows. And if you've messed up or you, your line is crooked or this is something that you actually do to clean up the process. And we'll give that color over to our lids, bring it down a little bit. And we'll pull that product down. We're gonna go ahead and go ahead with the, the top part and we're basically start from one end to the other so that make sure that it is actually the kind of the same height remember your brows are not twins they are sisters so it's okay for them to be different it is totally fine i am not going to talk to you guys that long and keep going on and on and on i just wanted you to know a little bit of details again i want to thank you guys for watching my channel please don't forget to subscribe and let's go ahead and watch the rest of the video
right, Sean? I am almost done. It's like, I'm just kidding. I am done. <laughs> Thank y'all so much for watching. I appreciate you guys. Have a great and blessed day. Peace.